So I recently had somebody ask me about barbershop fragrances and it actually gave me a decent video idea and I thought why don't I cover some of the different styles of barbershop fragrances because not every barbershop fragrance is created equal. So in this video I've got five different styles to go over with you in an example for each. Stay tuned. Starting with a more, some more vintage styles, and there will be a few that are a little bit more modern, but barbershop fragrance is a classic style based around aftershave, aromatics, citruses, spices, and even sometimes some leathers and things like that. And with this first one, this one definitely is dominated by citruses and aromatics. This is Moustache from Rochas. This is the Eau de Toilette. While the Eau de Parfum gets all the love for being similar to YSL Tuxedo, this essentially smells kind of like lemon heads in the opening because it's kind of a candied lemon, almost sweet lemon at the top with a lot of aromatics and lavender and stuff like that. Still has a vintage style. While not smelling too dated, I'm not gonna sit here and smell it, say it smells like some modern blue fragrance because by no means does it. But this one features, like I said, citrus dominance mixed with the aromatics, not so heavy on spices and leathers and more dense components. This is much more bright, fresh, and uplifting. Definitely works really well in the warmer weather, and this is one that has that elegance and appeal, yet not so serious that you can't wear it with a t-shirt such as I'm wearing right now. So prime example for a citrus and aromatic dominated version, light and airy, would be Moustache EDT. Next is lowers the citruses a little bit, dials up some more of the aromatics. You get more soapy appeal, and this one in particular adds a nice dry tobacco to add a little bit of an elegance and gentlemanly touch, this being the original Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme. So nothing new here. This has been around since 94, been through a few formulations. The older style bottle had a sticker label, hmm. whereas this one has the fragrance name printed on the front. Like I said, with this one, it's geared more towards the aromatics. While the citruses are still there, they're toned down. They're just present up top. And then as it dries, the lavender really takes over. It's all about the aromatics and the tobacco with this one, in my opinion, to my nose. It has more of an elegant appeal to it. Another one that's not too serious that you can't wear with a t-shirt, but I would gear this one more towards a great work fragrance or, you know, polo shirt, Oxford suit and tie, because it has a little bit more class to it than the citrus dominated barbershop style fragrance. This is a cl timeless classic in my opinion that doesn't really get much love anymore, but it's still a great fragrance nonetheless. No slouch in performance, but no beast at the same time. It's kind of in that sweet spot. It's just a great masculine barbershop fragrance. It's Dolce & Gabbana, Pour Homme. Next, this one features a lot more denser components, the leathers and a little bit more spice like I was discussing earlier. As you can see, we're kind of evolving the barbershop style as we go through this list of five. So with this one still has a nice, lovely orange dominance up top, but the main player here is a heavy dose of lavender while still featuring some aromatics because at its core, you have to have some aromatics for it to be a barbershop style fragrance. This being the aptly named Barbershop from Happy Land Studios. This is definitely the strongest as far as projection and right up there with one other fragrance on staying power, 10 plus 12 plus hour range. But with this one, I find it to be a bit more loud. There's a bit of some, some orange, bitter orange type of citrus up top. Aromatics are still very present. While not providing a lot of soapy lavender here, they're still a little present. It's mostly leather. If you like a great citrus leather, this would be the one for you. This is my favorite dense barbershop style fragrance because it, like I said, the dense components here that's really gonna jump out at you even from first spray, initial spray, is going to be this lovely smooth leather while still having that similar aftershave aromatic barbershop appeal. It's much more dense, works better in the cooler weather than the previous two that we talked about in this video. So if you're looking for a much more dense, even more masculine, not even really animalic, just more 
rugged, manly type of barbershop fragrance, Happy Land has you covered because, in my opinion, this is the king of that type of stuff. If you're looking for a dense barbershop fragrance with some leather, look no further than Barbershop from Happy Land Studio. Next, this one kind of changes it up a little bit, whereas we go from mostly aftershave style barbershop fragrances to this kind of has more of the barbershop cream aftershave, the shaving cream type of smell. Think Barbasol shaving cream, things like that. I'm talking about Barbershop from Authenticity Perfumes, that lovely blue, it, it looks like the, the air, I forgot what it's called, where they, uh, that sanitizer that they put the, um, their shears and stuff like that in to sit in in between clients. That's kind of that color blue. But still features the aromatics here. Still has a little bit of citrus up top. But this has that thick foam creaminess to it. So, like I said, none of them are going to shy away from aromatics, citruses, and spices. They have to have some balance of that to really be, fall into the genre. But this is just a different fragrance altogether. So enjoyable because when you go into it, you look at the label, you look at the juice, you're thinking this is going to be your basic run-of-the-mill barbershop fragrance that smells like so many others and that's actually not the case. Whereas Happy Land Studio does its own thing because of that strong leather note, Authenticity Perfumes does its own thing because it smells like actual shaving cream instead of aftershave, which is what so many gear afterwards that's what most people think when they think barbershop fragrance they think aftershave style this has a strong cream to it this is the other fragrance i was saying has that immense staying power the 10 12 plus hour range still a very strong projector without being a room filling overwhelming type of projection this one not so serious this one works great with a t-shirt this one does great casually while still has enough going for it to where you can dress it up as much as you want because it's a nice clean smell this is definitely the cleanest of the fragrances in the video, in my opinion. One to not overlook, you can get a sample. There's links for all of these fragrances down below in the description. If you're looking for that shaving cream style, it's Barbershop from Authenticity Perfumes. Then finally, this is going to be more vintage classic, still featuring citruses and aromatics, as is the key here. This one dials up the spices. This is all about spicy aromatic. Some of you may know what fragrance I'm going to use as an example. It's polarizing. It's love-hate. I definitely fall into more towards the love side with the original Azaro Pour Homme. While not one that I wear often, it's very sporadic because it can be kind of a dated smell, but still relatively powerful. And when you want just that lovely spicy aromatic smell, this is the grandfather of that, essentially. Not, not even so much the godfather, the grandfather, because it is an older fragrance, and I can see how a lot of people could deem it dated, but I do have a pre an appreciation for this style fragrance, therefore, I have to have it in my collection, even if it's not one that I wear often, but for nostalgia's sake, from time to time, I will wear it. And it's one that you can get very cheap these days. This is a 60 ml I paid 13, 14, 15 dollars for a while back. But like I said, clove, spices, warmth, and still aromatic, very aromatic. Always some type of aromatics at its core. This really gets up in the air in the first two hours. Very, very present. You will have a pretty, you know, sizable scent bubble around you. People will be able to smell you very easily. It's a familiar smell to most people, but it's the epitome of a spicy barbershop fragrance. I felt like this was the perfect example for one that leans more towards spicy aromatics than citrus aromatics. So, when in doubt, if you like them spicy, Azaro Pour Homme, it's one of the better ones. Well, that's the five styles that I enjoy of barbershop fragrances. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. Is there another style that I may have left out that you like? Because that, that pretty much covers it as far as I, as far as I could think. Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments or if there's certain ones that for each type that you're a fan of that would be your example for each of those categories. Let me know down below. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these five and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.